What's up guys, welcome back to another Swamp and Stomp episode. I'm over here with Alex, the big buck killer. And we are heading into a little bit of a private property that we got access to. And we're gonna try to get on some hogs. Um, we got Mark trailing behind us not too far. He's gonna go to another spot. Um, Alex and I are gonna try to sneak in through a little head of trees and we're gonna make our way to a spot that we have our camera out on and, uh, and some corn. The hog's been hitting it quite a bit, so um, we're gonna try to sneak in there and, and get some hogs. Hopefully we can get you guys a little bit of an episode, get everybody excited for uh, deer season coming around the corner. Let's go do this. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. What's up guys, I just wanted to make a really quick announcement before we get into this video. Uh, next weekend on July 9th, we are hosting a scouting workshop and a beginning of deer season party. Uh, it's gonna be in Jupiter at Riverbend Park. Um, if you wanna learn how to scout for deer and hogs in Florida, it's a perfect event for that. Uh, there's a link down in the description where you can RSVP for both the workshop and for the party. You don't have to come to both, but you can come to both. You can come to either or whatever you want to do. Hopefully we'll see you guys there. Um, that's it, let's get in the video. This is actually where we were planning on doing the Patreon hunt this weekend. But unfortunately, both Danny and I got COVID. Uh, so when we were supposed to be hosting our Patreon hunt to kill some hogs, um, we were in bed half dead. That Patreon hunt has now been shifted. We're gonna do it June 24th and 25th, but it's just been a real bummer because while we were sitting there in bed sick, uh, knowing that we should have been out there hunting with the Patreons, the hogs were all over the spots that we scouted up. You know, we went out there, scouted a bunch, we put out corn, uh, and man, it was, I mean, it would have been a bloodbath. Uh, so now we gotta start from scratch. Um, you know, we're gonna have to go out there and start putting corn out again. And, um, setting up more spots for the Patreon members, which we don't mind doing. We really appreciate all the support we get from them. And, and this is our sort of one chance to really uh, show our appreciation. Although we obviously have our giveaways and stuff like that, but this is kind of our favorite one. So uh, thank you to everybody who is a Patreon member um, that's been supporting us. Um, hopefully you guys can come out to this hunt uh, late June. Um, and if anybody else wants to join the party, it's not too late. Just go check out our Patreon page. You can click this link right up here. Um, and that'll take you there. But anyway, I'm gonna head out there right now because these hogs are still coming in. Um, they've been there every morning, every night. So I got a good feeling that they're gonna be in the area. So Danny and I are each gonna split up. We're gonna sit down on a spot, see if we can't shoot one. I've got the bow with me. Uh, Danny, I think is bringing out uh, his uh, 6.8 SPC. So uh, hopefully we get to shoot at something tonight. We'll see. All right, we made it out to the little spot that we're gonna walk in at. It's, uh, it's a little bit thick right here in the beginning, but once you get a little further in, it opens up. Um, there's an old feeder back here that I don't think anybody's been using for a while. Every time we've come by here, there's no corn on the ground. So we'll see, uh, we're gonna pass by that and hopefully we can make it over to where we have our camera. Let's see what we can do. getting pretty close to where we gotta be real quiet. There's a cypress dome right up here and right on the other side of the cypress dome, that's where the feeder is. Bro, 
Holy smoke. Fuck Mark is actually about 300 yards over. I'm sure he sure heard all our shots. But uh, <laughs> the hogs are over here sleeping. Looks like we got a pretty good meat hog and two little whole fryers. So. Hey guys, I didn't realize it, but I didn't turn the camera back on when we recovered these hogs, but here they are. We ended up getting three of them. Two uh, little ones and then one nice, probably like a 60 pounder. So we're gonna get to one of these canals and uh, clean them out. Get them cleaned up and ready to take them. All right guys, so just got out here. Basically, I'm just walking into this little oak hammock, and I just realized I gotta get rid of my sunglasses. Don't need sunglasses in an oak hammock. Like I said, there's been a lot of hogs hanging out at this spot, so I'm just gonna go pop a squat for a little while. Hopefully, get some action. See what happens. set up right here. I'm just gonna pop a squat right behind this bush. It's not much, but... I just want to be in range of uh, the area that I know these hogs been hanging out at. We got a camera set up about 30, 40 yards from me. They come through there almost every day, so I'm just gonna hunker down. Hopefully something comes walking through. I've been sneaking around 
looking around this area, I I think those hogs just kept running. But I mean, there's freaking hog rooting everywhere in this area. So we've had a lot more than three hogs on camera at the same time at that spot. So I think I'm just going to sneak back, sit down where it was. Hopefully some other hogs will keep coming through. I just walked back to where I was sitting when those other hogs came through. And as I walked up, I kicked up a group of hogs in the thicket right back here behind me. That sounded like a bunch of them. They had to be right behind me where I was sitting. Shit. If I just stayed put, I would have probably killed one. with my pistol boys. I don't know where I hit him, but he definitely looked hit.
I don't know where I hit it. But it ain't breathing anymore. Yeah, the hog's dead. <laughs> I just smoked a hog with a pistol. I have no idea where I hit it, but it went 30 yards. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that. And she's a nice sow, too. I heard her when I was in the, the oak hammock. I could hear a hog back here, and I was like, I'm going to go look over there. So I hopped over this little creek, and uh, I spooked one hog. It ran back into the oak hammock, and then I started sneaking my way around. And she was out in the open over here, and I heard, and I looked over, I just saw her two ears. She turned and started running, I just put the red dot on her, pop! Hell yeah! <laughs> I didn't see any blood anywhere. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Well, I guess they don't care about me. Right, I'm gonna leave her lay right here. Grab my stuff out of the oak hammock here. Make my way back to the truck. See if I can get these boys to come out here and help me get her out of here. There really ain't no good way to get a vehicle back here. But uh, heck yeah, that was uh, that was freaking sweet. Figured out why she died so quick. Bullet went right through the heart. I don't think I want to eat this. No, yeah, it's partially cooked. This is badass though. All right. All right, guys. Welcome to my tiny little kitchen. Um, so the hog, the sow that I just shot, um, was one of the fattiest pigs I've ever seen. Like, there was so much fat on this pig, I think there was probably like, like a half inch of fat just like all around her. And as a result, her jowls, like these little, little hanging waddly areas of a pig, it's just all fat and a little bit of meat in there. And it ends up being this like really nice, like marbled layered meat uh, that kind of resembles bacon. And I, I know a buddy of mine who makes bacon out of wild hogs and he uses the jowls. So I ended up cutting all that out um, there's some like little glands and stuff in there. You got to be careful. Pull those out. Um, once you get all that out, you end up with this just beautiful like fatty meat, as you can see. There's some here. Got some more down there. Um, and so I'm making bacon. And at first, I wasn't going to show you how I'm doing it because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. And um, but you know what? I'm just going to show you what I did, and it's going to be an experiment. And hopefully, I don't die. Um, and if it's really good, you guys can try it too. So anyway, like I said, the jowls and then this part here that's got a little more meat to it, this is sort of like the, the, front, the front part of the neck. Um, lots and lots of fat. So um, the recipe is actually really simple. Uh, you just got to get yourself some pink curing salt. Uh, you can get this on Amazon. This was like 12 bucks and that'll probably last a long time because I hardly used any. Um, and other than that, you just need salt um, and whatever kind of sugar you want to use. I use uh, I used brown sugar in this case, um, but I'll put down in the description like uh, what you do is you weigh the meat and then like based on the weight of the meat, you do a percentage of that weight in these different salt and sugar ingredients. Um, and then you just rub down the meat. And as you can see, you can kind of see that graininess. It's on there. That's all that 
that salt and, and sugar and stuff on there. And what it'll start to do, you put this in the fridge um, and let it sit in your fridge for like 10 days. And you kind of rotate it every day, flip it over um, and let it be exposed to the air. But what it'll do is that salt will start to draw out a lot of the moisture and put a lot of that salty, sugary deliciousness, the flavor into the meat. So after 10 days of curing this, uh, we're gonna smoke it and then it should resemble bacon, sort of. So I'm gonna stick it into the fridge and uh, we'll check back in in 10 days. So this bacon has been curing in my fridge for 10 days. I haven't done anything other than just flip it every uh, 24 hours or so. And um, it's really starting to look like bacon. I'll show you a little piece. So this is just a small piece. This is straight up from the jowls. Um, but we've also got these larger pieces. And this is, I guess what you would call the kappa, which is basically like the side, it's like the fillet of the side of the neck. As you can see, it's got a lot of fat on it. Uh, so I haven't cut into that just yet, but I have a piece of the jowl, which is really the fattiest part. And as you can see, it is beautiful. So, I'm gonna fry this up with some eggs, maybe some beans, and have me a little breakfast for dinner. There we have it. That bacon looks incredible. And all this stuff is good too, but the bacon is beautiful. <clears throat> so here I am uh, sitting down about to edit up a video for you guys. Let's find out about this bacon. That is honestly kind of incredible. Um, there's a flavor in there that I haven't tasted in a long time. Back when I was a kid living in Europe, I used to get this, uh, it's like French sausage. It was like a, kind of like a salami and it had this really funky flavor to it that just so delicious and I taste it in this but it has that saltiness of bacon so I mean it tastes like bacon but it's got a lot more complexity than your typical store-bought bacon I am definitely doing this from now on when I shoot a fatty pig I'm cutting those jowls out and making me some bacon this is awesome mm-hmm 100% you guys gotta give this a try. Seriously. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I'm not a, a culinary master. My catch clean cooks aren't the most beautiful thing in the world, but I had to show this to you guys. So I'm glad I did. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, we certainly enjoyed creating it. We're gonna be doing some more hog hunts here um, on that property before season gets going. So, uh, if you like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and, you know, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Um, we appreciate you guys. If you want to support the channel just a little bit more, maybe go check out our Patreon page. Uh, you can click on this link right up here to do that. Um, or go check out our merch store, uh, www.swampandstompllc.com. We'll get you there. Um, and also, we have a bunch of events coming up uh, in the next few weeks. We'd love to see you guys there. You can find out all the details about those events either on our Facebook page, which is just Swamp and Stomp, um, or we're also doing some events in collaboration with the Florida chapter of Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. So you can go to the Florida chapter of Backcountry Hunters on Angler, oh, and Anglers on Facebook to find the details for those. Hopefully, we'll see you guys there. 
Until next week, peace.